This is SAT test 8, calculator question number 24, asking you about a survey. These questions require careful reading and often take more time than the more computational SAT math questions. In this case, for the finale of a TV show, viewers could use either social media or a text message to vote for their favorite of two contestants. The contestant receiving more than 50% of the vote won. An estimated 10% of viewers voted, 30% of votes were cast on social media, contestant 2 earned 70% of the votes cast using social media, and 40% of the votes cast using a text message. Based on this information, which of the following is an accurate conclusion? If all, choice A, if all viewers had voted, contestant 2 would have won. Based on the information in the question, we don't know how the rest of the viewers would have voted, so we cannot draw this conclusion. Choice B, viewers voting by social media were likely to be younger than viewers voting by text message. You may or may not draw that inference from general knowledge, but this says based on this information, the information in this question only, and we do not know from this question anything about the age of the voters, so choice B is wrong. Choice C, if all viewers who voted had voted by social media instead of by text message, contestant 2 would have won. While contestant 2 earned 70% of votes cast using social media, you cannot conclude that viewers who are willing to text a vote for the other contestant would have changed their vote if they had voted on social media instead of by text. So choice C cannot be concluded. Finally, choice D, viewers voting by social media were more likely to prefer contestant two than were viewers voting by text message. Viewers voting by social media, 70% preferred contestant two. Viewers voting by text message, 40% preferred contestant two. So those using social media were more likely to prefer contestant two than those using text message, so choice D is the correct answer. Always take your time, read carefully. I recommend rereading over the question once you've chosen your answer if you have any uncertainty. Come back soon for my next SAT math video. With math, there's always more.